<laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please stand up all of us because today we are going to pay respect to the science of the Quran. The Quran is a book of science and it's full of it. I mean literally. Today we are going to speak about a video. We will not play the video because you know they will complain. But you can watch it in your own. It's called 10 Surprising Facts. Oh, sorry, 10 Surprising Scientific Miracles in the Quran. Mm -hmm. And number one is the speed of light. Uh, the Quran discovered the speed of light. And uh, because I don't want to play the video, so I look for a Muslim website, which is quoting the same thing. Uh, and here we go. Speed of angels turn. Speed of angels turn. Turn what? I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see. Just another lemon tree. The big, big lie can say goodbye. And today we will give it high five. So the speed of light of angels turn out to be known. The speed of light. Muslims, Muslims believe that the angels are low dynasty creatures and that God created them from originally from light. They move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light. Mm. I mean, I like it. They move from the speed of zero. Is that a speed? Okay, let it go. It is the angels who carry out God orders. Those angels take their orders from the preserved tablet somewhere in the outer space. Ah, Allah have a tablet for the angels. They go, they read, read and they come down. <laughs> and not from God throne. Okay, take a note, by the way, because later we will go back here. And not from God throne. Please take a note. They commute. I hate commuting, man to and from this preserved tablet to get their order from God. In the following verse, Quran describes how angels travel when they commute and to and from this tablet. And a speed which they, speed which they commute and from this tablet turned out to be known the speed of light. Da -da 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 here we go. We found the speed of light in the Quran. But how this happened? Let us see how this happened. Quran chapter 32, verse number 5. Allah rules the cosmic affair. What, what cosmic? It says the, the sky. Affair from the heaven. Uh, the cosmic. Where would where, this word come from? Allah, he, 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 he like he... Uh, take care uh, of order things from the heaven to the earth and who, those who, who is the one who do that the angels supposedly and they come back to him in a distance of one day at the measure of 1000 year of what you count okay now how this is came to be the speed of light let us see the genius muslims how they Fabricate the stories. Read carefully, please. It is the angel who carry out the orders. Those people back then measured the distance neither in kilometer nor in miles. Uh -huh. So what they measure it? But rather by how much time they need to walk. Wonderful. For example, a village two days away meant a distance equivalent to walking for two days. That's wonderful. 10 days is a uh, 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 meant a distance equivalent to walking for 10 days. Wonderful. However, this verse in the Quran specify 1,000 year of what they counted, not they walked. Well, what does that mean? Hold on. The verse says 1,000 year of your count. Speaking to who? To the people. Okay, so how suddenly this is not about walking? 
And who is the one who said this is not about walking? And in the same time, where it says even this is about walking, it says in a time equal to 1,000 years. No walking there. Hmm. Those people back then followed the lunar calendar and counted the 12th lunar calendar, uh, uh, lunar month each year. These months are related to the moon and not related to the sun. Hence, in one day, the angels will travel a distance of 1,000 years of what they counted the moon since the verse referring to the distance. Then God is saying that the angels travel in one day, same distance that the moon travel. Wait, 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 Allah, he says this is the same distance, the same as the world. Hold on. Secondly, since when did the day is the day of the moon as I know that the lunar month does not mean the day is the day of the moon lunar month is counting how many uh, 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 like uh, moon pass not how many days really which means this is have nothing to do with days it's very stupid statement secondly uh, when you say that this is the speed of the moon who is the one is moving their count is 1,000 year. From what? From their count, which is equal to what? To one day. Now, let us see how this is work. So, because supposedly one day is the count, which is equal to 1,000 year, then they said, okay, the lunar year is a 12th month, and that means it's equal to 12,000 year. But this is stupid. Because simply... 1,000 year, it's in our time. If you read any interpretation, you will see this is what it says. 1,000 year of our time. And just to show you the fraud, we have the same exact verse without the angels in the Bible. And obviously, Muhammad, he stole that from the Bible. If you go to the Bible, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse number 8, it says, Be... Be loved and be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand year and a thousand year as one day. But none of the Christians says this is about uh, lunar. And by the way, the Jews at that time, they used lunar. Until now, actually, they use lunar. I mean, the Orthodox Jews. So they used the lunar calendar. And Muhammad was, was you know, he, he was always a fraud. He is copying the Jews, as you see. But this is metaphorical. This is not really real. And no Christian will say this is science. And here we go, because we can make the same exact sentence. They are saying, okay, it exists in the Bible, so we'll get you busted. That means if this is scientific miracle, that means it discover a, a, a thousand of years before Muhammad. Or at least 600 years, actually. It exists in the book of Psalm, too. You know, in the book of Psalm, you will see, it says it clearly, for a thousand years in the sight are, but as yesterday, when it pass. So, why we don't make it a miracle? Because simply, this is a metaphorical thing. It's a, it's a stupid to say. But however, look how the Mohammedan, they did get Muhammad busted by their fabrication. I want you to remember when we said, if you remember here, we were reading, it says that the angels, they carry, they commute and they get the order from the preserved tablet somewhere in the outer space and not from God's throne. All right. So according to them, the moon needed 12,000 year, 12,000 year in the speed of the, the moon, which is the speed of light, to reach the tablet. And they are saying this is the speed of light. Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense because look what happened.
the Muslim they use in their statement not my statement that the angels commute did they say commute be my witness they commute which means they go backward forward so the stupidity is amazing because if the commute is 1,000 year to go then there's 1,000 year to come back that will make it 2,000 years as simple as that and that will break all their numbers number two they are not reaching the throne of Allah but they are arriving to the preserved tablet as you see and this is will get Muhammad busted even more why because all of us we remember that Muhammad he spoke about himself going to the far more the tablet he went all the way to Surat Surat Al Muntaha which is the last line the seven heaven where Allah is he did not see Allah he did not speak to Allah but this is the last this is the seven heaven the preserved ta tablet based on the Muslim statement is way down is not really even there so if Muhammad was able to go to the seven heaven over a flying donkey in the night which means less than eight hours so why you are saying to us the speed of light and the 12,000 years 12,000 lunar orbit 12,000 lunar orbit So how Muhammad was able to make it all the way to where no angels can go to the point even Jibreel he could not pass. He said, that's it. I cannot go with you. Over a flying donkey. Let us see the story. You remember this story we mentioned to you where Muhammad, he claimed that two angels came and they cut his chest and they would install there a dish of wisdom a dish of faith if you remember funny stupid story and yet the muslim talk about science i mean what a shameful story doesn't fit even with the brain of a kid and then here you will see that uh, muhammad was flying over a mule i was then brought a white beast which is called al buraq bigger than a donkey smaller than a mule so here we need to understand either the story you get there in this in the in the in the website is a fraud or your prophet is the fraud because your prophet he did not fly in a top of light he flied in the top of a donkey and took him less than eight hours not to arrive to the tablet but to arrive to the seven heaven, which is far away more than the tablet, supposedly, where no angels cannot go through. If you see here, when Jibreel, he arrived to the seven heaven, he arrived with Muhammad to the root of Lot tree the farthest limit what does that mean which mean no angels can pass so for sure muhammad he pass all the distance angels they can pass so this is will be the the farther far away from where they are talking about so look what jibreel he said to him jibreel he said that in this house there is a house like the kaaba supposedly in the heaven where every day 70,000 angels go in and come out. All right? And in different hadith, you will see that Jibreel saying that this is the limit he cannot go more, which means he cannot go farther with Muhammad. So Muhammad have to go alone. And as you see, the stories, all of them confirm that Muhammad was a flying in the top of a flying donkey, smaller than a mule, bigger than a donkey. If we go down, let us see here. Uh, see the Arabic. Let 
just to show you more reference so we can laugh more. All right. All those stories are the same. <clears throat> and actually, you will see that Muhammad he found in the heaven uh, the, 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 the river, the, the spring of the water where uh, the Euphrates and the Nile River come. You know, imagine Euphrates. He found rivers, and those rivers supposedly the Euphrates and the Nile, which is obviously is a stupid statement. Uh, I'm just trying to find more reference. Let us see. Hold on. But do you see how the Muslims, they help us always to get Muhammad busted? If you needed 12,000 years to go, how Muhammad he went there in the top of a donkey? And this is the speed of light according to them. 12,000 lunar to go just one way and to reach the tablet, not the seven heaven. Seven heaven is where more far. Let us see. <clears throat> Here Muhammad saying, I heard the message of Allah saying, while maintaining the lotus tree of the ut utmost boundary, that's it, the maximum, saying a rider will travel in the shade of one of the branches for a hundred years. He must be about speaking about the uh, about speed of light too. <laughs> Let us see more. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Just to show you the madness of this cult. Hmm. All of those stories speaking about the mule which carry Muhammad. But there is a hadith I want to show where it says that uh, Jibreel he said, I cannot go farther uh, with you, Muhammad. Anyway, what we have in the front of us is enough to prove all this garbage. To be false because Muhammad himself he flight in the top of a mule and took him day, less than eight hours to go all the way to Allah not just to the uh, preserved tablet as they say uh, too bad I cannot find it hmm endless stories look here look look Muhammad he found he found the rivers of the Euphrates let us find someone like I mean a shorter hadith he found there the Euphrates River and the Nile River so those people they are speaking about speed of light 12,000 lunar year to go to the Euphrates River and to go, to go to the Nile River. And furthermore, we have to get them busted even better. Look what Muhammad he explained and he got them busted in what they are saying. This is Muhammad speaking about the distance. If a pellet like this one and he pointed to one like uh, uh, like the, the skull of the, the head were to be dropped from the heaven to the earth and it is the distance of a traveling of 500 years 
it would reach the earth before the night fall. But if it were a drop from the top, which means the top of the heaven, where is the top of the chain, hold by Allah, it would travel 40 years, day and night. I mean, look at this stupid the, 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 the calculation. So if we go here, and they cannot say this hadith is weak or etc., as you see. Actually, in Arabic here it says, هَذَا حَدِيثٌ إِسْنَادَهُ حَسَنٌ صَحِيحٌ This is good and uh, like uh, fine and good. Fine and good as a hadith. So it will take 500 years to arrive. But now we have more problems. We'll face the Muhammadan and we'll prove Muhammad to be a false prophet again. Additional to all of this. If Muhammad, he need eight hours only to go to heaven and he was in the company of an angel of God which means his maximum speed is light speed as the Muslim they say in their website remember that do you remember they said that the angel speed is turned to be the light speed so Jibreel cannot go farther he is an angel he cannot go faster that's his max Guys, are you listening? And who is the idiot there in the text saying why CP don't debate? So what we do here all day? If I don't debate, who debate then? Change your diet, uh, uh, Abdul. Why you don't debate? So what we are doing? <laughs> so guys, as long the speed, as long the angels, they their speed is from zero to the max of speed of light. It's not me who said that. This is the Muslim website. Do you remember? From zero to the speed of light. Let us go. Hmm. Just to refresh your memory. For those who have a slow memory. They move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light. Does it say that or I'm making things up? People, do you see it? People, just listen, forget about this Abdul. They are trying to disturb you. They are ashamed of their stupid Quran. Please, just forget about those Abdul. So listen. The Muslims, they admitted that the maximum speed of the angel Jibreel is the speed of light. Is that good? Is that good? They admitted that the speed can go between zero up to the speed of light. That's wonderful. The tablet, preserved tablet, is not with Allah. It's way lower than Allah way lower than the seven heaven yet muhammad he went to the seven heaven in eight hours with the a company of the angel jibreel anyone notice what the mistake what is the mistake here who notice Who noticed with me the mistake? What is the mistake? You see how the Muhammad and they got Muhammad busted? Muhammad is a fraud. Because if his journey is a true journey, and the angel arrived to the seventh heaven, which is more higher than the tablet, and took him eight hours maximum, so why it says that it take the angel a thousand year of our timing which is a day for Allah not a day for the angels and the Muslim they claim that this is equal to 12,000 lunar orbit earth day 
Do you see how we get them busted? So even if the angel, he have the speed of light, that's mean the angel in eight hours of a speed of light, he was able to arrive to the seven heaven. That is the limit. That's that, This is the universe. That's it. We are in the, in the top of the universe. In eight hours of a speed of light. And who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? But now we have additional problem to this. What is the problem? As long as the angels, they need a thousand years from our time to go up to heaven. This is what the verse, right? You see, this is what this is what their website is saying, not me. A thousand years. Hmm? Okay. And they admitted that the angels don't go to Allah, they go to the preserved tablet where the Quran is written. This is mean if Muhammad he receive a verse today, he need to wait according to the website 12,000 lunar before he can receive a second verse. <laughs> Do you see it? If Jibreel came to Muhammad today, and now Jibreel he have to go back in the speed of light which the Muslim discover. That means Jibreel he cannot come back to Muhammad second day, because it take a thousand year of our time. You see, we are not talking about the day of the angel now or the angel of the day of Allah. That's it. It's fixed. Our time is a thousand year. So. The angel will not be able to come back before a thousand year come. So how Muhammad he got the second verse and the third verse and you know, Muhammad did not receive the Quran or it in one day. It took him twenty years to receive it. So do you see the stupidity here? Not only they got Muhammad busted with his lies, they proved to us. That Muhammad is a fraud, and those who made those scientific miracles are nothing but a fraud. Now here we have another problem. We are not done. The problems, you see, when you make a lie, you need a thousand lies to cover the first lie. Read what Muhammad said. As long as the Abduls they claim that there is a science in the Quran and this is a speak about the speed of light but Muhammad he claimed that the Sun every day goes under the throne of Allah and during the sunset read carefully the Prophet asked me at the sunset do you know where this Sun goes at the time of the sunset I replied Allah and his Apostle know better he said it goes, i.e. travel, till it's prostrate itself under the throne and take permission to rise again. Okay, hold on. Here we have not only a contradiction, we have a garbage. Because according to Muhammad, the sun is going, traveling, as you see, this is not my translation. And this is Sahir Bukhari, this is very authentic. The Muslim cannot say it's a lie. All right. This is the numbers in the front of you. One uh, 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 hadith number three thousand one nine nine. So according to Muhammad, the sun every day goes and travel, as you see, and during this, this is during the sunset. So Muhammad explained to us how the sunset work. So the sun travel every day from the east to the west, which means it took the sun twenty four hours to go under the throne of Allah. And as you know, the throne of Allah is the highest. So, from the sunrise to the sunset is what it takes the sun to go to Allah. And what else? If you go down in the hadith, it says, Muhammad, he said, 
that and this is what Allah meant by saying in chapter 36 verse number 38 and the sun runs its fixed course for a term decreed so the sun every day have a have a fixed term and what is the fixed it goes from the east to the west and sleep under the throne of Allah but now look how many stupid stories we have they are in connection with each other Muhammad he went to Allah in eight hours the Sun goes to Allah from the morning to sunset this is the this is the time it take and this is the orbit of the Sun the Sun is moving not the earth it's not the earth going around itself is the Sun going around the earth in the top of that the 12,000 lunar year what we will do with them now as you see the Sun is going under the throne of Allah every day not every 12,000 lunar year When they ask uh, 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 Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet of the Prophet, where the sun set, he said the sun set in a murky water, as he said that in the Quran too. And the Muslim, they try to cover up the stupidity of this verse. They say, oh, this is how it appear. No, Muhammad, he said, clearly that the sun set in hot boiling water. And this is the hadith and it is sahih I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the Sun was sitting he asked do you know where this set I replied Allah and his apostle know best he said it's set in a spring of warm water so look how this miracle is scientific miracles work Muslim they grab a verse from the Quran which is a stupid verse and they make a story about it suddenly this verse is talking about the lunar and 12,000 lunar and the speed of light and okay and it's scientific miracle okay but you know we have we have to put things together And just to show you the stupidity as long you Muslims believe that this is literally a thousand year and this is a present the speed of light but look the day of Allah Allah his day is six days seven days normal days how we know they are normal days and how we know that you are lying about the lunar if we go in the hadith we will find Muhammad saying the following this is Sahih Muslim this is Sahih hadith they cannot say it's a lie what happened All right. Read carefully. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday. But remember the verse saying that one day for Allah is equal to a thousand year. Is that correct? So how one day to Allah equal to a thousand year and that is Saturday? And then he created the mountains in Sunday. And then he created the trees in Monday. And he created things in time in labor in Tuesday. Created the light in Wednesday. Is, is that what this, uh, you're saying? Uh, you know, the Muslims, they say that Quran is in total agreement with the Big Bang. So according to the Big Bang, light was created in Wednesday. Actually, there's a video of, uh, of uh, Didat, uh, Ahmad Didat. 
you know, this guy, sadly, I, I could not get a chance to get him busted. He was making fun of the Christians saying, in your Bible, in your Bible, the sun created in Wednesday. And that is impossible. But because the idiot, he did not know what his prophet teach. So he was targeting Christians who do not know what Islam is teaching. The fact in the Bible, it says, God, he said, let be light and light was. So he created light before the sun is exist. So there is a source of light. In Islam, it is the religion who believe that there was no light. There is trees. There is mountains. There is water. But there is no sun. That is a created, the light created in Wednesday. All this time, there is no light. So they make fun of you for what you have in your Bible, but the fact Muhammad, he always got them busted. But this is how it works. They only debate those who do not know much about Islam, so you cannot get them busted. Now, if you look with me here, we will find too many contradictions, as long as they consider the 1,000 year of Allah, 1,000 of year of our time, is a day for Allah. So how Muhammad, he said, that Allah created the clay in Saturday. Isn't it one day for Allah is equal to a thousand year? That's mean Allah created the earth in 6,000 years. Right? If every day is equal to 1,000 year, that's mean Allah created the earth and the heaven in 6,000 years. But Muhammad, he have different opinion. He got his prophet, he, his, he got Allah busted. Muhammad, he is saying that no, it was Saturday when Allah created the clay. This is the first base of the earth. There was nothing. It was Sunday when he created the mountains. It was uh, 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 Monday when Allah created the, the trees. Actually, it says uh, he created the mountains in Sunday yeah, and he created trees in Monday. Yeah. So as you see, all those stories are nothing but fabrication. Suddenly, they, they say this is the speed of the moon. 12,000, what speed of the moon? What is that? Actually, in the whole verse, there is nowhere speaking about speed. It's speaking about that the angels, it take them a thousand years of your counting. And how the Arab count? How the Arab count? They are counting time. Wonderful. A thousand years if you're counting. How the thousand years if you're counting became a 12,000 years. And how this is have to do with the speed of the moon. And how this is in to be the speed of light. There is another verse. In the Quran, which will make things more complicated. In chapter 70, verse number 4, it says, And the angels and the spirit escaped into him in a day a measure wherefore as 50,000 years. The Muslim, they say, this is in the judgment day. No problem. It's in the judgment day. But what we learn from this? We learn that Allah, He is 50,000 years far of our count. And the tablet, according to the Muslims, claim in the website, 1,000 year or 12,000 lunar of their calculation of speed of light. All right, that's wonderful. That's mean Muhammad, 
he went to the seven heaven to Allah which is going to take 50,000 years of our time to go which means if Muhammad he went to heaven is going to take him a 50,000 year to go and 50,000 year to come back Are you guys listening? Do you understand? And that again will get Muhammad busted and get the Quran busted. Because if it's going to take the angels 50,000 years to go to Allah, Muhammad, he went there in eight hours. And he was in the company of an angel, which means this angel cannot go over his speed limit. Which is according to Muslim the speed of light. So how he was able to pass it in eight hours? <laughs> Do you see the madness and the stupidity? How easy to get them busted? All of this is nothing but garbage. If there is any Muslim would like to say any comment? Any Mohammedan agree, disagree? So suddenly Muhammad became a scientist. Yeah, I just made him an admin, a fill, you are an admin again. You can pause the link. Suddenly, Muhammad is a, you know, a scientist. Quran is full of science. When the Quran is a book of madness. When, when, a, when, a, when a, a drop of lead come from the heaven to the earth, which is a distance of 500 years and it take it take from the morning until night to arrive how that can be true with what they say do you read it if like a little tiny thing like a bullet like this pointed at the head where it dropped from the heaven to the earth and it is distance of a traveling of 500 years. Here Muhammad, he made it clear. A distance of a traveling of what? Of the Arab who they use camels and donkeys and walking. But Muhammad claimed it would reach the earth before the night fall. So if Allah... He sent a drop of lead from his chair. It take 500 years to go down. All of this is nothing but a chain of contradictions. Stupidity. In one place, it take them 1,000 years to go. In another place, 500 years is just from the morning to night. In different place, the sun goes under the throne of Allah every day from the sunrise to the sunset. In different place, Allah created the clay in Saturday, the, the mountains in, uh, in Sunday, the trees in Monday. How that all can be science? And here you notice that when a person, he is a liar, the more he talk, the more he says stupid things. And this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Uh, Inker, none of your business, who I will make an admin or not. As you see, this is nothing but garbage and stupidity. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything?
أني محمدا So why you lie you Muhammadan and you create fabricated scientific curriculum? How this is can be? Your prophet even your God do not know even where the sperm coming from. He think it's coming from the backbone and the woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Your God even don't remember which one he created first the sky the stars or the mountains and the earth. We do not need to be scientists to understand that this is stupid. You see, I'm not speaking about science anyway. I'm not a scientist. I'm showing you stupidity here. This is stupid. It's total contradiction of each other. As long they are adopting this verse saying, okay, we agree with it. The angels, they need 1,000 years of our timing to what? To go to the tablet and come back. Just to go actually to the tablet. So if an angel, he, he carry an order, and who is this angel? Jibreel. Jibreel is the one who carried the Quran to Muhammad. So if Jibreel come to Muhammad today, he need a thousand year to go up and a thousand year to come back, which mean Muhammad, he should not receive the second verse until 2000 years pass from the day he saw Jibreel first time. So how you Muslim even you mention this verse because this verse got Muhammad busted. A thousand year to come back. Any Muslim he don't agree with me. Who is a Muslim is willing to prove me wrong? The verse in the front of you. And you Muslims, you admit it, that this is where the, the angels, they get their order from, from the tablet. So Muhammad, he received a verse from the tablet today. In order to receive the second verse, according to your Muslim speed light miracle, Muhammad, he need to wait 12,000 lunar before he received the second verse. Any Muhammadan want to say anything? This verse alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a fraud by the help of the Muslims. I remember carefully, I'm using their words. They say that they are commuting. Who are commuting? The angels. This is not my words. I'm not the one who is saying that. This is you, Muslims. They commute. Read carefully. They move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light. It is the angel who carry out God orders. Those angels take orders from the preserved tablet somewhere in outer space and not from God's throne. And the word commute mean going backward, forward. As an example, Muhammad here fights with his wives. <clears throat> Muhammad, he have fight with his wife. Let us say he have fight with, Muhammad, with his wife tonight. Okay. In order for the angels to receive an order from Allah, they have to go to the tablet. And the, the iPad of Allah is a flying in the space. Flying by itself. Look like Allah have a Wi-Fi and he send his order to the tablet. Eh, don't ask how. All right, so Muhammad today, he have a fight with his wives. 
how long is going to take the angels to deliver the solution which is this verse to Muhammad any Muslim can tell us according to your website and according to the verse in the Quran 1,000 years to come with the news guys you understand me let us say for God say you know I mean God forbid I am Muhammad and now I have 13 wives fighting with them which is normal to fight I mean one woman she would drive her crazy man this guy you have 13 he have mental illness so 13 wives and he is fighting with them specifically two of them they are like they make two party Republican and Democrat so Joe Biden the first wife and uh, uh, Monica Lewinsky the second party so okay today the fight happened the angel he need to go to receive the order from Allah will he need based on the Quran a thousand year to go up and then a thousand year to come down so Muhammad should not receive any messages until now we have to wait another 600 years before he received this verse so who is lying here any Muslim remember this is a, just a fight happening you know like a, it's it happened this is not about heaven and etc this is something new something up to date any Muhammadan <clears throat> I cannot call Zach and Naik because he have a flu. I think he uh, they said he have a, a coronavirus. Christopher Prince, I told you to call me. And because you call me, I get to do the cousin. You got what? Coronavirus. Uh, uh, coronavirus. Okay, but don't spit on me, man. You will, you, will, you will get me sick. I don't care. And I'm trying to make you sick, actually. Because you deserve it. I deserve it. Why? Because you call me and I get sick. And obviously you did it to me over the phone. But I cannot give you a virus over the phone, Zachary. Come on, you are a doctor. How how I can give it to you over the phone? You can do it. You live in America. And we all know what the American can do. And they are capable of it. I agree with you. The American are capable of many things Allah is not capable of. Hmm. So any Muslim can tell us? So why you lie? The sun set in murky water in the Quran. The sun goes every day from east to west. And by the way, there is a there is a guy. His name is Fifi. He agreed that this hadith about the sun goes is true. If you remember, he was supposedly uh, getting the apostate prophet busted. So he said, "This the hadith. Uh, I, I I will show you a hadith which is authentic." And he called this hadith stupid. Hmm. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? All right, we will stop here so you guys can download it, add subtitle, translate, whatever. And I want to say thank you for being here. If you actually like to read more about what's called Quran and science, which is absolutely fraud, my two books, uh, Deception of Allah and Quran and Science, this is the name of the book. Both of them, they contain a lot of disaster about what they call Quran and science. It's a stupid, it's hilarious. It is a book made by a dummy for the dummy. And there is no way, if a, fool, if a fool like Muhammad fool you, I mean, how fool are you? Suddenly this book is about science, speed of light. When Muhammad himself, he went in the top of a flying donkey to the heaven. And donkey is a donkey. He cannot go in the speed of light. 
And remember, he went and came back, which means it took him only four hours to go and four hours to come back. Because in eight hours, he was able to come back. <laughs> so what 12,000 lunar year? Everything they say is not only a fraud, it is beautiful. Help us a lot to prove that you cannot trust a Muslim preaching to you Islam because Islam is a fraud. If Islam was a good religion, you need to ask yourself why they lie to make you believe in it. Why somebody is a believer in a cult or even if it's true religion and he is a true believer, why they fabricate lies? This is a very good question to ask. Why I need to lie to make you believe in my belief? The Bible say that the Satan is the father of all lies. And if those people, they are lying to make you believe in their cult, obviously their father, which is Muhammad, is Satan. This is cannot be even close to be legitimate in any way, in any mean. You see, there's, there's many people, they create organizations. They are cult, but at least they have a good target, have a good mission. Let us say, uh, we want to create organization uh, to support women, supposedly. Okay, no problem. And then they start adding some yoga and some like uh, hoochie moochie, uh, buchi, etc. Sit in your ass, look at the sky, blah, blah, blah. You know, stupid cult teaching but the purpose in, of it in the outside is good they want to support women okay wonderful here there's nothing it's a lie from the beginning it's about violence it's about disrespecting women it's about beating women it's about having sex in heaven your private part will be will be will be in this palm tree your wife she will have one mile ass and the sun set in murky water the sperm coming from the backbone. The women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. And this is why I'm scared. I'm not going to get married. I don't want to go to the bedroom. My wife, she take off her bra. I find the breast testicles. The hail is coming from mountains in the sky. I mean, can you show me one thing in the Quran is truthful? I might come back on air again today, tonight. We will see. Maybe like later, if I could. And we will continue talking about those and scientific miracles, which is proven to be fraud. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And feel free to read my books if you care. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And we prove that every day. Take care.